On today's stream, I took on a patriotic mission. I had you guys send me the most British videos you could find on the internet. And I sat down and I watched all of them to see which of you truly understood the British spirit. And of course, as a man who walked out to his boxing debut looking like this, I'm perfectly qualified to make these decisions. So if you do enjoy these hilarious videos, please feel free to subscribe. I react to plenty of fan submitted content on my Twitch all the time. And I would love for you to come and submit content to the stream live. But I get you may be busy on the night and you may not be able to attend. So that is absolutely fine. Subscribing here means you will never miss an uploaded video so you can still enjoy the content. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. This is the TikTok, as you'll see right now from the, uh, oh, I can't go full screen, but see that? Friends, friends. This is my friend. This is a friend of Jack Manifold. And I feel like when you watch this, you're going to think that makes sense. That does make sense that this would be a friend of Jack Manifold. We love a bit of batch. We do. Let's watch a little bit of Batch, shall we? Hawaii Dancer, thank you for the 14 months. I'm going to re resume the subs in a second. I just wanted to get this kicked off before we did. We're going to resume them in a second. This is not Wilbur Soot. Right, I've come on here because I've had no luck on other account in search for a sugar baby. But I'm a very wealthy man. And I've got a very long cock. Which barely smells. <laughs> now, let's... Fucking barely smells is vile. Like, 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 complete acknowledgement and almost proudness of the fact that it does smell a bit, but pride in the fact that, yeah. Don't put burly smells. No, don't say burly smell. Oh, bur oh, you mean burly like it burly smells, like the accent. I thought you meant like that was some fucking internet term. You know how people would be like looks maxing? Now all of a sudden everyone's got a burly smell about them. It's like a good thing. Like it shows you've been weight maxing or some shit because you've, you've got a burly smell. Sorry, I, I realize that you've got a... It burly smells. I get you. Let's get to the point of it. I don't care if you're ugly, if you're <laughs> fat, you're skinny, or you're normal. Normal, that's wow. I will go at you like a rabbit. <laughs> End of. I do cuddles. That's I do lovely. wrestle. That's lovely. I oh. just want to be porked, really. <laughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a cold. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect old man noise. I think just the fact that he, he like you could tell that he doesn't even know what he's gonna say next, and occasionally it'll be too funny for even him to say out loud. Jack, are you his mate because of this? I wish. This only made me respect him more. So yeah, thank you for the prime. Again, I, I tell you what, we can turn the lights on after this. We're gonna listen to this, and then we'll turn the lights back on. I don't even care if you're deaf. I'm not fussy. No. Oh. I'll make sure you can hear Papa purr, <laughs> and I will. I'll make you I mean, curing deafness is arguably a very good trait, so I don't know why we're judging this man. Because arguably, if you can cure deafness, that is it's quite the quality, really. Thank you for a level 5 hype train, by the way, you legends. In Morse code. I'll f oh. I've earned the nickname The Leech. Oh, for okay. Reason. I take my dentures out and I'll latch on to your areola, etc. <laughs> why, why, etc. Like a suckling babe, squealing for more. Yeah. If this sounds like something you're interested in, please drop a comment. I am more than gagging for it. Furthermore, I'd like to be punched straight in the cock. Thank you. <laughs> well, let's hope he gets his wish. I hope he gets his wish. I really do. I hope he gets punched in the cock. Honestly. I honestly do hope he gets punched in the cock. He deserves it. He deserves a good punch in the cock for, you know, because well because he wants one really. I don't think we should judge people for what they want. So yeah, let's hope he gets that. Anyway, very Brit. I mean, British in terms of accent, but in terms of sensibilities, maybe not. I I I'm gonna go as far as to say and this might be controversial. I think the whole sugar daddy sugar baby thing comes from America. Yay! I've never once met anyone in the UK that has a sugar daddy. However, I have met people in America that do. Sorry, Americans. I just feel like Seven you... You know, I think with the eight months, I need therapy five. <laughs> yeah, no, you would you would need that after eight months up to Jack Manifold. I appreciate that. Um, I just, I feel like... I feel like it only... How are we Jack, mate? I, I'm good, thank you. But that's the guy with the podcast. I'm Jack Manifold. Thank you for the uh, tier one, though, mate. Um, I, I just feel like only the intense capitalistic society of America 
could possibly turn people to to you know the sugar daddy lifestyle. Um, however, his linguistics. Right, I've come on here because I've had no luck on other account in search. On sugar. other account, it's very very Yorkshire, you know. So maybe I think this it hits a middle ground. It hits a middle ground. Let's see if we can find something more British, shall we? Uh, next video we have is uh, this. Oh, the, the relax, drink Stella. You know it make you feel better. Relax, drink Stella. Relax. That was possibly the most British video I've ever seen. This guy, I don't even know his name, but I've seen him around. Don't know much about him, but he's peak British. I've seen that much. I've seen. Uh, wait, isn't this the? Uh, I don't get nervous from from these from the apprentice, and he goes, I don't get nervous, but um. I'm starting to get a little shaky, you know what I mean? That's him, right? And now, obviously, he doesn't feel that way because he's drank a Stella. Average Harry coded. Average Harry is very British. You're right, actually. I don't have a Stella. I have a Brewdog Lost, which uh, I'm not proud of on account of their anti-union status. Um, but it's all they had. So, you know. So I'm the best lager. I know I've got two drinks on the go. And I've got a Ramune soda, a Ramune soda, and then also just a beer, just kind of to the side, which is arguably concerning. But there's a reason for that. I haven't just got a beer because I need to relax and drink beer, uh, like this gentleman said. Uh, th there is a good reason, and that is because, and that reason is that I like beer. So I'm the best pint, really. It's pretty poor. One more time. Drink, drink Stella. Stella. You know it'll make you feel better. Relax. Drink Stella. Relax. Drink Stella. It makes me feel pretty good. That's very British. It's very British. Quintessentially British, I would say. The only thing more British than this is, is fucking black pudding or something, you know, weird. Black, I, I feel like black, black pudding is the most, like, you know... British thing. Like, it's a lot. I feel like every other culture goes, fuck. What do you mean you just eat blood? Like, we go, yeah, we go, what, what do you mean, mate? Because, yeah, we do, and that's fine. How far behind are we on subs? I mean, it might be, ca it might be a case of reading, because I think we are far behind. Oh, no, we're not. Wow, well, oh. 23 months. That's almost Thank you. two years. I am it so is. feeling a bit ill at the moment. So oh, I'm I apologize. Laying down in bed resting. You should. Bed rest Hope is the best thing. Have been doing well, people love. We have been doing well, thank you. Thank you very much. Holly 10, thank you for the prime. Thank you for 18 months. Uh, I said I'm going to read these manually because they're going to take a while unless I don't. Uh, so, I like eating crayons. Again, another likely suspect in the Jack Manifold sub list. Thank you for the three months. Uh, thank you to uh, Pono Ponosia. Thank you for the five months. Madison, thank you for the 17 months. Another month using my Twitch Prime. Check if you have them, please. I mean, top of the hour ads in 45 minutes. You might as well check. Aria, thank you for the gifted sub. Sienna, thank you for the Prime. They, I didn't just randomly force the R on that. They wrote it. Ryan's Worms, thank you for the Prime. Mick, Mixify? Mixfi? I don't know how to say your name. Thank you for the 21 months, though. Can't even lie. I went through like 30 of these videos and didn't even understand half of what they were saying. Anyway, happy 21 months. Thank you. Look, British people, we have accents. That'll be all. Stormy Shadows, thank you for the four months. Uh, a bit late to the stream. You're, you, 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 it's 17 minutes in. You are more than on time. Do not even stress. Um, Shreda Sneen. Hank Schrader. That's, uh, that's all I'm reading there. Uh, thank you very much for the prime. I appreciate you very, very much. You are quite the legend. You are quite the legend, my friend. Uh, thank you to little... Bro! What the fuck? Sorry, a stream popped open on Twitch. Can you believe that? We'll keep reading. Uh, who, who did I just read? Oh, of course. Uh, yeah, Lily, little Lily Panting for the three months. Have you watched the FNAF movie yet? No, no! I'm sorry, I haven't. I, I need to, I need to. I know I need to, but I haven't got around to it yet. <coughs> Deadman Poyoin. Thank you for the year. Thank you for 12 months. Appreciate you. I'm very well. Uh, Jix Vrokat, thank you for the 10 months. And That Hot Ceiling Fan, thank you for the 6 months. Okay! Roll Cup, and I appreciate you all. I just figured I'd read through that myself because it'd take a while otherwise and we wouldn't watch any videos. Now if you sub it, it'll read itself out. So uh, feel free. Top of the hour, I had to skip in uh, 
52, uh, 42 minutes even. So bear that in mind. Sorry, I've got such a terrible cough. You said you would. I know, I know, but I'm looking after my girlfriend and it takes time. And I, I, I you know, it's, it, I, you know, it, it just, I haven't watched it yet. I, I, I promise I will soon. Oh my God, I've seen this. Oh, no, I have seen this, but this isn't the video I thought it was. Hold on, let me turn off the music. This, this I, I saw another video recently that's very similar. This, Because I'm almost certain this is staged. However, I'm not certain the other one is. But I think this is just a staged video. But we can, we can give it a bit of a watch. I think it's disgusting that you're working at this time on a Sunday. Like... Have you got nothing better to do? We are permitted to start work from 8am on a weekend. I mean, we've got to crack on, or we're gonna get in the neck from the box. You see, it just it just reads like a script, and she's really animated. Like she's like, "Have you got nothing better to do?" And she's like tapping her wrist. It's just obviously staged. Also, someone said Oblivion music would assist this. I mean, we can hold on. On. Yeah, fair enough, we started a bit early, but you know, I don't see what the problem is. You were right. My son is a lawyer. <laughs> no, this is perfect. Pollution laws. <coughs> the style you know, there's a family across the road with a newborn, and all this racket is bound to make give them a load of I've stress. Bound! Well, if we're causing them stress, they can tell me. If we're causing you stress. I don't mind starting a bit later. We can ask the client if he's happy with it. That's fine. Is your client the woman who lives here? Yeah. Right, I'll speak to her then. <laughs> it's not necessary to bang that hard, is it? Look, I'll bang on this. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Like, it's just obviously scripted. Like, I, I, get, I get that like, the NPC music's fucking perfect for it. And, and it is very British. But also, I've got to dock it points here for being very... Obviously fake. Like, it, it, it sounds like NPC dialogue. For the two reasons. No British person speaks this clearly. They're clearly trained actors. If, if, if this was real, right? You're like, I don't mind starting a bit later. If we can, I, don't, I don't mind starting a bit later. We can ask the client if she's happy with it, and that'd be fine. Like, that would be more akin to how British people would actually speak. Uh, but they're, they're speaking slowly and enunciating, which is only something that actors would do in this scenario. I don't mind starting a bit later. We can ask the client if he's happy with it. That's fine. Is your client the woman who lives here? Yeah. Right. I'll speak to her then. That sounds... You, you know what it sounds like? You, you know what it sounds like? Fucking... Let me try and do the music change on time. This is what this needs. Hold on. Hold on. Right. Let's see if I can pull off this music change. This is going to be quite tough. Uh... Okay. Hold on. Okay, sure. Hold on. Are you ready? Let's see if we can pull this off. Yeah, it, that's fine. Is your client the woman who lives here? Yeah. Right, I'll speak to her then. <laughs> yes! Live editing at its finest! Don't you tell me what to do. I'll tell you what to do. Seven months for. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. What did you say? Just tell my colleague to crack on with the job. I don't think so. You make any more noise, and I'm calling the police. Okay, that's fine. We've got a license, so we'll just we'll, we'll work with it. We'll tell them that we're allowed to. I just had to let I just like to ha I I just had to let that play out silently, you know. I just really needed that just to just to sit in the room because that fucking hell that is good, that is good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It, but yeah, the acting they, they would be swearing like this. This is the bit that got the fact that they went. She's crackers, mate. They'd be like she's fucking mental. I just don't believe that there'd be no swearing in this situation. They'd be talking so clear. It's clearly fake, but it but it is a funny video. The family across the road, family across the road can hear you building. They can definitely hear her fucking shouting there. Anyway, but it's just rage bait. It's just meant to like. It's just meant to drive comments that like this lady is bang out. They want British people on Facebook, like British mums, to be like this lady is bang out of order. Okay, so he said yes would go. 
What would you do if when you okay, so he said yes, w- someone's had a stroke. Thank you for the pound 20 though. But yeah, literally all they want, literally all they want is... <laughs> Sorry, I'm still finding it funny that I managed to time them battle music so perfectly. I'm actually proud of myself. Um, like, all British people want is, like, a, fa- a Facebook video, which this would be. Then they go, this is outrageous. There is no law that permits people from working. And what does she mean? Do they have anything better to do on a Sunday? They're literally making themselves useful. This society is full of dossers. Like, they, 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 all, that's all 40-year-old Facebook users want. Just something to be pissed off at. And this, to them, is that. Like that's that's all that this is for. This is just rage bait for boomers. This is boomer rage bait, and it gets shit tons of comments and views on Facebook and like Instagram. That's all it is. Anyway, next video. Before I start rage baiting at the fact that this is obvious, like fraud. It's fraudulent. Huh. Um. Ah shit! I keep fucking it up. Nope. There we are. Got it. Sorry, I really wanted to make it full screen for some reason. This is really bothering me. What's this? Early 2000s discontinued snacks and sweets in the UK. I wish was still a thing. And it'd actually be, I wish were still a thing. Your English is poor. Anyway. Let's continue. Vimto lollipops. Almost certain these still exist. Swear I've seen one. Dark mode is now available. You don't fucking say. Uh, these, these still exist, right? I'm almost certain these do still exist. British people of the chat, these... I haven't seen those in a while. I swear I saw these at, like, Halloween. Last I saw one was 2013. Vimto Lolly. Discontinued? Alright, no, these are literally on the Vimto website. Where to buy? They're literally on the, the fucking Vimto website. This exact JPEG. Look. It's right here. Where to buy. And it's like every store you can buy them in. I was like, definitely I have seen these. They are not discontinued. Anyway, right. Now we've already established the video as a lie. Let's see what else we've got. Groovy biscuits. The fuck is a groovy bit? Who here has had a groovy bit? I remember Groovy Chick. You guys remember Groovy Chick? Was that did Amer- Americans? Any Americans of the chain? Do you have Groovy Chick? I, I always found Groovy Chick fascinating because it was a like it felt to me like Hello Kitty. But Hello Kitty, obviously, although it is like a, a sort of branding icon, it did come from a TV show. Like there was a Hello Kitty TV show, and it kind of felt the same with anything. And then Groovy Chick came along, and like. It just kind of was based on nothing. Like, this is Groovy Chick, right? And it just kind of came out of nowhere. I'll move chat for a second. And it was just like... Stu- like, my cousin had Groovy Chick wallpaper, I think. And, like, you could get Groovy Chick bed sheets and a plush. And, like, this is the Groovy Chick. But, like... I don't think... I don't think there was, like, a, a show or, like, any reason for people to purchase things with this character on. Like, here's a groovy chick tumbler. Like, like, I don't recall there being, like, you know, anything. Like, what is bang on the door? Uh, b- bang on the door. Ah, okay, so it was a 90s brand that I guess did more than just Groovy Chick, like this one that says poo. Um, but, like, she was just an icon. I guess she was. Door hanger, please not. Oh, my cousin had this. I remember it. But, yeah, this was Groovy Chick. It was, like, from the 90s, early 2000s sort of thing. But, yeah, it was very British. I feel like, I, 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 I'm assuming America. The way you can tell it's British. Do you think? This feels American to me. Like, to me, it, like, obviously it isn't. But, like, I don't know. It feels American expired. It was also Funky Girl, apparently. And B- Bliss. Mini- Miss Mini Skirt. Club Doll. I guess there was more than the Groovy Chick. But every- uh, no one remembers anything but the Groovy Trick. We have that in Australia, yeah, but Australia is just an extension of Britain in it, a lot of things. Not all things, 
whoa, not all things. Australians, I love you. But certain things, like shows and shit, there's a lot of British shows make their way over there, you know? And I w- I'm not shocked that Groovy Chick kind of made it. You know, alcoholism did. You know, that you got that from us. Anyway, that's Groovy Chick. Uh, but anyway, I don't remember Groovy Biscuits was the point. Let me ask Ellen and Neil. I think she's just playing Sims in the other room. Let, let me, uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, that, can't go through that door at the minute. The Christmas tree's behind it. Hold on. Hey guys, Alan and Neil does not know what groovy biscuits are. Uh, she also apparently did not grow up with any groovy chick stuff. She had brats, which does make sense on account of uh, that's a TV show and actually has something attached to it. But yeah, no fucking clue what groovy biscuits are. Let's carry on. Petit Falou little desserts. Did they get rid of Petit Falou? Or did they just get rid of the mini desserts? Let's have a look. I, I haven't seen a Petit Falou in a while. Americans, do you have Petit Falou? It's a kid's fromage fray. I don't know why we, we decided that fromage fray would be the only word we wouldn't translate. So then the, the, the fromage fray people are allowed to keep their shit in French. <coughs> no, it appears they don't. I'm checking now. They're small pots. I'm looking at the whole thing. It does not look like they do little desserts anymore. Primes I mean, for Jack Manifold. Thank you. I mean, look with me. Look. Oh, they have, oh, they do have, they have a Magic Squares strawberry and vanilla flavored dessert. Uh, but otherwise, I think it is just yogurt. Oh, they're big pots. No, that's it. That's the, they have discontinued it. Thank you for the raid, by the way. Uh, Joe says, think of the three months as well. Primes for me. Yes! 30 minutes to the top of the hour ad. It's needed. But yeah, no more Petit for Lou, I guess. Anyway. What's the difference between fromage fray and yogurt, by the way? Because as far as I'm aware, it's just a yogurt. Baked stars? I do get why they got rid of these. I never, I never cared for the walkers baked. But even so, baked stars were just walkers baked, but in a different shape. Which probably just cost the factory a lot. These were a piece of shit. The, these baked are vile. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the baked either. I have a classic bag of walkers here, in case I get peckish. I'll, yeah. I love all the British people and shit like utter shite, baked a vile, baked a horrid. I fucking hate baked stars. They're minging. It's a very British stream today and I appreciate it. That's why we went a little bit earlier to accommodate for the British viewers just to make sure they could really be here before, you know, I'm a celebrity get me out of here kicked in. It's so weird seeing walkers instead of Lay's. That's because walkers was a crisp brand in the UK that Lay's bought and they thought instead of you know, trying to dominate the market. Let's buy the product that's dominating the market and make it our own and then change the branding certainly to look like the Lay's one so when it becomes international, then people can recognize them because the logo's the same. Nerdy fact about crisps. Anyway. Tutti Fruities are... No way Tutti Fruities are gone. And what's the sauce crisps? This is ridiculous. This has got to be like... Vim- Tutti Fruities are gone. No, they're not, you fucking liar. I've just seen a ba- I've just seen a bag to buy at Asda. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, hold on. I did, but... Wait, they seem to be gone. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're into round trees now. Wait. Oh, it's Maynard's, it's Maynard's. Where's round trees? Oh, my God, wait. They actually might have got gotten rid of fruity to- fr- Tutti Fruities. I can't see them on the Asda website. It linked them, but... Oh my god. They might have discontinued fr- Tutti Fruities. That's ridiculous. That's ridic... That was a dead... Li- I, was, I was more of a fruit pastels guy. Perhaps even randoms. Tutti Fruities were at the bottom of my list, but they're, any round tree sweet is... You know, worth time, so... This is upsetting. This is upsetting fucking news. Worcester sauce walkers. I was always an, an adventurous kid when it came to flavors. 
But I like the Worcester sauce crisps. You telling me they're gone? Yeah, the flavor has been discontinued. When was this? The last month! 7th of October, 2023, they discontinued Worcester Sauce Crisps. Those fucking bastards. I can't believe that. They're gone. They're actually gone. That's ridiculous. <coughs> I guess not one of their most, like, not really t early 2000s, is it? Well, no, just, I didn't say, it, it never said, I don't, oh, did it? Did it say early 2000s? Yeah, but these are things that people grew up with in the early 2000s. Apart from Groovy Biscuits, I, I've never fucking heard of Groovy Biscuits in my life. Yeah, I mean, okay, that's, that's pretty, oddities, yeah, I think I remember trying these, not really caring for them, Jacob's oddities. Just to get a bag of mini cheddars, it's just cheese at the end of the day. It's all just baked cheese by Jacobs. You know, just, just eat a bag of mini cheddars. These are just different shapes. I'm not too bothered about this. And, and these days, mini ch cheddars is on top. They're doing so many different flavors. You know, they do Plowman's Cheddar these days. Cheshire, sorry. They do Plowman's Cheshire mini cheddars. They're incredible. Get yourself some Plowman's Cheshire mini cheddars or perhaps their Monterey Jack ones. I can't eat normal cheddars these days because I've been spoiled by their, like, Monterey Jack fucking... Plowman's Cheddar, Cheshire even. I'm just saying, man. They're real good. They are, like, they're killing it these days with the Cheddars. So, this is not a loss. Oh, my God. Cadbury's Egg and Spoon. I do remember these. Because they came in, like, an egg carton. I always thought that was dead cool. And there was chocolate mousse inside. Yeah, those were cool. They were gimmicky as fuck, but Cadbury's chocolate is good. So, that is a shame. I fucking forgot about these. Oh, my God. But you, you, kids under three would choke on the spoons, apparently. So, you know, probably a reason they had to get discontinued. This is sad, though. That is sad. Cadbury's a killer. Cadbury's chocolate is pretty much a banger every time. In fact, I ordered a... Uh, uh, you know what? I ordered a bar of Cadbury's the other day. I'm going to go grab it during the top of the hour ad. I ordered, I ordered, ordered myself a big bar of Marvelous Creations. But I also grabbed a big bar of Choney's Chocoloni earlier. And I, I've been meaning to try that chocolate because I've not had it before. So maybe we'll have that. Maybe we'll compare them. Clip... You see, I was never a Calippo shots guy, but I do know how terrible this is. A year too long. Actually, a year and a month. Thank you, Maggie. Unless you mean a month was enough. Yeah, that's that is ridiculous. Calippo, Calippo shots being gone is. I mean, I was never a Calippo guy, but I completely understand that that is ridiculous. What else? Who gives a fuck about Milky Way? Let's be honest. Milky Way is mid as fuck. Like, it's fine. I'm not a big fan of anything in, in a box of celebrations. Again, I, I don't mean to exclude. This seems like it's excluding American viewers. But we have this, this box of chocolates called Celebrations. By far the, the worst uh, of the variety box of chocolates. Like, by far. I'm sorry to say it. Some people are big Celebrations fans. But these things, if you ever go to the UK, do not waste your time. These are, in my opinion, the worst of the... Like, like what? they got Twix, mid. Snickers, good. Mars, good. Maltesers, mid. Galaxy, Kind of mid, ultimately. The caramel one's all right, but the galaxy one's just too creamy. Milky Way, mid. Bounty, dog shit. Just, just a mid. I'm sorry, Twix is mid. We're going to say it. Milky Way is mid. Quality Streets. I, I have a nostalgia factor for Quality Streets, but being an adult now who has objective opinions, uh, terrible chocolates. But Quality Streets I grew up with. Uh, the best ones is Heroes. Or Roses. Roses are actually pretty good. But like people sleep on Roses. You never hear anyone wanting a box of roses these days. Uh, but they are they're pretty good. But like people completely neglect the roses. Because it's by Cadbury. So it's like Cadbury's solution to uh, Quality Street. Because the thing about Quality Street is sadly, and I hate to say it, they're not all that quality. They're actually kind of shit street. It's kind of like mid street at best. You know? Um, roses is like Cadbury's version of... Quality Street, and because it's Cadbury's chocolate, it's actually pretty good. And then obviously you have Heroes, which is like Cadbury's second like version of Celebrations, where it's like branded little chocolates, and they're amazing. I'm just gonna say it: Heroes on top, Roses on top. I'm a Cadbury's boy till I die. I've been to the Cadbury's factory in Birmingham. It's like going to a day at fucking Willy Wonka's. It is incredible. It's incredible. I, I, I honestly, I can't express to you how important it is to me. Ah. Oh. 
My nose is running like fucking Mo Farah, mate. More British references for you there. I mean, I could say Usain Bolt, but I, I thought I'd keep it British, you know. Uh, what else? I mean, no, yeah, no one gives a shit about that. Smarties Cupcakes. A small loss. A small loss. These were okay. These were okay. Nestle chocolate's not terrible. I like a Mint Aero. Mint Aero is, the, is by far Nestle's finest game, you know. Nestle at the top of their game with a Mint, Mint Aero. I mean, what, what, what are Nestle responsible for? Let's have a look at what Nestle responsible for. Because the Mars company are, are pretty weak, in my opinion. Other than Mars and Snickers. I think those were on top. Uh, where the Nestle company is responsible for... Let's have a look. Let's have a look at these chocolates and see whether they're on top. The Kit Kat. Powerful. Mint fucking Aero. I'm going to put it out there. Regular Aero. Orange Aero. Completely mid. But Mint Aero is next fucking level. Next level is Mint Aero. Rolo is the goat. Rolo is amazing. I used to fucking kill for a Rolo. I used to love a Yorkie growing up, but only because of the advertisements were like, Yorkie is the fucking chocolate of men. And he's been like, yes! The old symbol was a no women. Fucking, it used to have no women there. And now as, a, as an adult man who understands misogyny, I could say that's very bad. But as a young boy, he was like, girls, icky! I used to think that was the best chocolate. So, um, but I, I've, I've matured and I've healed. So now, nowadays I can just acknowledge what Yorkie is, which is way too fucking hard. It's like, it's so solid. It, like, that's why it's the chocolate men, because it's like, girl, you got to fucking bite through it. Really fucking hard. And it's honestly not the best. So honestly, um, Yorkie's kind of mid. But as a kid, the marketing worked on me, which I hate to admit. Munchies also goated. Uh, Munchies, Kit Kat, Rolo, Mint Aero. These two are kind of mid. Honestly, Nestle Company, second to Cadbury's, in my opinion. Second to Cadbury's, in my opinion. And uh, obviously, they're responsible for Smarties, also goated. Um, Mint Aero Balls. You know what? Don't even get me started. Hold on. I, I was going to wait to grab a chocolate. I'm going to have to grab it now. Jack, have you thought apt the fact that being born in August means your dad failed no nut November? Also, we share the same birthday. I'm back. I couldn't find my Marvelous Creations, which was a great shame. But I do have Tony's Chocolate to try. And of course... What? Why are you all, why are you all lamowing? Why are you all lamowing? You missed a message. What? What do I miss? Just missed him. Jack, have you thought about the fact that being born in August means your dad failed no not November? Great. Is that what I missed? No, but he, you know what it might mean? It might mean he absolutely dominated non-stop not November, and I'm proud of him for that. All right? So let's put it that way. We're going to have a sip of this. Because that's disgusting what you've implied about my father. But that is also true. Anyway. Mint Aero Balls. People say they're goated and I completely agree. It's mint chocolate goodness. Oh. Oh. That is good. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mate, peppermint on top. AD would not approve of this. What, non-stop nothing? I feel like you... No, you know what? I'm not even saying that. That's my dad. Self-awareness kicked in. I apologize. I hope he isn't watching. He probably is. Yeah. I know my dad. He'd laugh. He'd laugh. Anyway. What's it, Spawn Cocktail? Fucking good! I hate What's It's. Can I just say that? What's It's as a kid used to make me vomit. I once had a crumb of What's It on something I ate and I threw up. I don't know why I hated them so bad. I just had such a, like, to the point where I almost didn't eat cheese. I just, I just don't know why as a kid. I, I was slightly, I was a really weird picky eater as a kid to the point where I was like phobic of certain foods. I was scared of, um, ketchup. And I, I say scared because like, I, it, it was like beyond just like, I won't eat this food. It's like I was disgusted by it. <coughs> and it was what sits and ketchup. What sits were the worst. Um... 
And then eventually, I used to love Quavers, but then I swapped teams. But yeah. The fucking prawn cocktail, what's its? I can only imagine that was terrible. What's its more like what shits? Fucking, oh my god, someone said I love what's its. I dip them in mayo. Ban that fucking heathen from the chat. Chris Bello. No fucking clue what that is. Does, did anyone here eat Chris Bello? I've, I've never seen a Chris Bello in my life. They're not gone. You can still buy them. Yeah, they're just that irrelevant. Everyone thought they were fucking discontinued. No loss there. Who cares? What else? Oh! Oh! Oh my god, that was real grief. No way those are gone. Oh my god, I used to love Smarties Push Pops. I used to get them on holiday all the time. Oh my god, it, right, Americans. Americans, you need to hear about this, because this is incredible. Imagine, right? So it's an ice cream lolly. It's like an ice cream lollipop. Ice cream up to here. This is all ice cream. You take the top off and you push up with the stick, right? And you and it's ice cream with little bits of Smarty in it. Vanilla ice cream with Smarty. Mm -mm. Mm, you know? And then guess what? You get to the end. You get to the end and you'll never guess what. In the tube is more Smarties. So you push the tube all the way to the top and then you go... And you pour the Smarties into your mouth. Sometimes you have to like, like tongue them out a bit. Because, like, they get stuck because of all the ice cream and the melt. Sometimes you have to tongue them out a bit because it gets a bit sticky. But once you tongue them out, just pour them in. Oh, the flavors. I mean, it was incredible. This. You know that video of Vince, Vince McMahon where he's, like, he's, like, nearly crying? Like, that, that fucking, you know the one. You know the Vince McMahon, you know, you know the Vince McMahon meme. I'll, I'll find it, like, instantly on Twitter. Vince Mc, McMahon. Uh, you've seen the one. Yeah, this one. I mean, just this is me thinking about the Smarties Push Pop right now. It's just too much for me. I can't, I can't bring myself to talk about it. I can't bring myself to reminisce on the childhood memories at fucking Rufford Park in Nottingham. I think it's in Nottingham. Just, just, you know. God, all the memories. That is devastating. That is devastating. That actually makes me so sad. That's terrible. That is terrible. All right, on to the next British video, shall we? I mean, that. sorry, that's just really, that's broke my heart. That really has. That's actually shattered my soul. That's awful. All right. Well. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, what was this? Sorry, I couldn't hear this. All right, let's keep going. Another British anthem. Let's hear this. Let's hear this British anthem. See, let me assess how uh, British this really is. <laughs> Somehow only just spotted the stream notice, but anyways, as an American... And then is kayaking through a flood? Pardon? Somehow only just spotted the stream notice? If that's okay, you're forgiven. I'm glad you're excited about this, American viewer. You might not get some. However, you will get there. So this this comes from the classic champ. I mean, it, I don't know what the original is. The one I heard first. Ten months. Thank you. Love you, Mr. Manifold, the most British man I Thank know. Oh seven. Oh, oh, I would rather have a dark fruits than a wife. I would rather have a dark fruits than a wife. I would rather, you know, and they do that. But this is, I think, the TGF guys uh, kayaking through a flooded town, singing, "I would rather have a kayak than a wife." Oh. Vibes in the back of this. Yo, this is like a budget Venice. Yeah, but <laughs> budget Venice. Terrible. People lose their homes, floods, and they're like, ah, oh, it's like budget Venice spice. Funny. That is funny. All right. Next video. I would rather have a prime sub than a wife. Come on, Chuck. Do it with me. I would rather have a prime sub than a wife. I would rather have a prime sub. Rather have a prime sub. Rather have a prime sub. Than <laughs> Didn't work. I hope that gets someone to prime. Someone said no. Seriously? People are just saying no. Okay, we've got a couple of people in here. we got a couple of people in here who know how to have some fun. Anyway, this is a classic. Objects that I've shoved up my ass. This is a classic. Vibrators. I'm just going to go along with it. Dildos. Dildos. 
Pens. Pencils. Coins. Pebbles. Broomstick handle. Fishing rod handle. Umbrella handle. Toothbrush handle. Hockey stick handle. Fingers. Small glass jar. Sorry, that's quite funny. Test tube. Screwdriver handle. Stiff cocks. I forgot about stiff cocks, I'll be honest. Cigar. Cigar, wow. Civilized. Banana. I probably got smushed and bruised. This video was produced by Bruno Povroznik. Thank you, Bruno. One more classic British video before. I mean, obviously, that is a classic. I mean, that's a real classic. Not only classic Last one was British. So British uncannily real. I mean, this is the thing, right? Not only that is that, is that a British, you know, piece of heritage, but also an LGBTQ piece of heritage. That's what I like the most about that video. However, this is purely British. I'm going to play it because, uh, because I like this one. I don't know if anyone's cued it. But I feel like we need to listen to this since we're doing the, uh, you know, the British video. I feel like this is a requirement. So uh, please join me for what I consider to be the true British National Anthem. Margaret Thatcher is dead! Ding dong! The wicked bitch is dead! It's a shame the bitch didn't die 87 years ago! It's a shame that the IRA. <laughs> I forgot about this line. Why didn't kill the bitch? I forgot. I forgot that. Does that just not leave? Oh, I forgot about the uh, <laughs> the IRA reference in that video. Well. No bother, let's carry on. This is just the park life video. And you know what? I, I, I kind of figured they'd all be funny British videos, but they, you're kind of right. I wouldn't say there's a more British song than park life. I feel like, I feel like Americans, do you... I, mean, like, I feel like Americans might suggest the Beatles, but I think Blur smashed it. I really do think Blur created the most British song, you know? I'm also going to try a piece of this Tony's Chocolone before we start it, because Park Life is a, is a banging tune, but I actually want to try this. Oh, this is like classic. This is like that Wonka shit. Proper classic chocolate bar. Wax paper and that. Let's give this a go. Probably it's made by Ben and Jerry's. So shout out Ben and Jerry for making that. Whoa, that broke like in half. I just I want like a little segment. That is still not a little segment. That is like a fucking hunk. That'll do. Pebbles. Coins. Cigar. Mm. It wasn't bad. It's no Cadbury's, but it's pretty good. Anyway. Oh, glad we got that. Let's uh, let's watch the most British song of all time. You see what I mean? I put my trousers on, have a cup of tea, and think about leaving the house. That is the most British sentence ever spoken. By far, just by far, that is the most. The fact that he said trousers, and then having a cup of tea, and then leaving me ass. Perfect. That is perfect. But anyway, we have comedy to watch. I can't laugh at this. This is art, media that I enjoy. Wow. Well, oh. All right. What's this? Oh, a TikTok. 
Oh, horrible histories. Yes, this is British. This is British as shit. I have never heard this song, but if you would tell me Brits made it, I would believe it. It, it is made by Brits. That that it is. It absolutely that. Yep. Yeah, no, that it wouldn't be made by anyone else. <coughs> yeah, this is a uh, horrible histories being iconic part four. We all remember horrible histories. We all love horrible histories. Horrible histories produced some genuinely great songs. Also, some genuinely great comedians were platformed by it. So, uh, it was also pretty factually inaccurate most of the time. It was supposed to be a historically accurate show, but it, it tends to got things wrong. Um, but, you know. Today, I'm going to show you how to cook London. This is the seven o'clock news. <laughs> this is the nine o'clock news. I'm the joke is, God's instead of watch, news. I'm a celeb. Have a good and thumbs up light skin tone. No worries. Thank you for the thumbs up. Appreciate it. This is the person that wrote that joke. Ha! <laughs> his heartbreak at the Anna Cleves divorce. I chucked her because she was a minor. I fucking love that when they did like a fucking reality TV, the Bachelor version of King Henry VIII. I feel like these aren't the best moments of Horrible Histories. These have all been pretty, like, some of them haven't been great. Also, putting the music over the top has distracted me from the comedy. Some of them are good, though. The falling over and coughing was, was fine. He sounds like my barber, is the problem. Like, quite a lot. Where when he said that, when he said ages, I went, oh my God, it's him. But it isn't my barber, of course, because he is not a comedian. He just cuts my hair. I just woke up in a fucking steam. This is that. This is perfect. I mean, this is summarizing it. This I've seen many times. The legend that is Danny G. And he is by far Birmingham's happiest man. No one else, no one in Birmingham is, is any more happy than this. Everyone else is more miserable than him. I just woke up in a fucking steaming mood, yeah? Because I live in a shithole! Do you know what I mean? Birmingham is a fucking shithole! I hate the fucking place! I fucking hate it! It's full of dickheads! I fucking hate it! Bear in mind, do, do, do people, like, I, I realise, like, uh, now, like, uh, I might be older than some of you. And I feel like I might be. Do you guys know where Danny G comes from? Do you guys know the, the origin of Danny G? Because some people won't. Like, I'm seeing people say no. So obviously nowadays, this is probably the most popular video of him. Where he's just like, I just woke up in a fucking steamy mood, yeah? Like, that's probably the thing. But the original video, and it's been a meme for fucking years, right? Is like, um, is like, um, it's a video on Xbox Live. You sent someone an Xbox... No, remember, so you couldn't join an Xbox party unless you had Xbox Live Gold, but you could join a one-on-one -on -one call, right? So clearly someone had only Xbox Live Silver. And he joins a call and he's like... And, and like... He's like arguing with some guy because of like Call of Duty or whatever. And he's like... He's like... He's like, come Smithwick, Birmingham, ask for Danny G. I'll come out of my house. I'll break your fucking legs. Uh, he just, and he just, uh, he's going, come on then. You will see. And he's like fucking screaming down his microphone. Just absolutely like fucking screaming, right? The whole time. And that's been a meme for years. And then eventually, turns out after that, after that blew up on the internet, he decided he was going to start making YouTube videos, and it took people years and years to find his channel. And then eventually they found it. And it's like a gold mine. And that now, and now ever since people have like been able to contact him, he's like been on podcasts. He told some story about how he uh, he fucking bit a guy's face off because this guy beat up his son. Um, like so, he went to the guy's house and fucking 
like his wife came to the door and was like, you're not coming in. And then the, the guy came over, so he headbutted him over the wife's shoulder, knocking him to the ground, and he bit his face off. Supposedly. This is what Danny G claims. Um, but yeah, like, he's, like, uh, the real Danny G has got, like, 65k subs. Right? Uh, but he just, he, he can, like, he posts every two days. Just, just, just consistently for what is now years. Paul Vina, like, just, just constantly. But, uh, also, I've now learned Birmingham people are equivalent to a mix of Floridians and New Jersey people in the U.S. Kind of, but, uh, yeah, Daddy G. Alright, why does he look naked there? I just wanted the video of him with a sword. Where did he get the sword out? He also does have, like, samurai swords and shit. But yeah, uh, there, let me find it. Uh, Danny G Xbox original. This is the original. This is the original. Does he call him a slur, actually? Wait, hold on. I probably should check. He doesn't call him a slur. I feel like he will. I don't know. I don't think he does. I don't think he does. He didn't. The video is from five years ago. I could just see it happening, you know. Anyway. I want to know why you just shouted at me down the microphone. <laughs> what do I fucking shout at you down the microphone for? Playing your fucking mouth, mate. I'm a grown man. You sent me a message first, yeah? I live in Smevic, Birmingham. If you want the fucking brawl, come down to Smevic, ask for Danny G. I'll come out of my house and I'll break your fucking legs, you little prick. Now what do you say? Now what do you fucking say? You get the impra you get you get the uh, you get the point. Um, but yeah, that is the the that is the origin of the happiest man in Birmingham. That is where this man originally comes from. T he he indeed. Fucking steaming mood, yeah? Cause I live in a shithole! Same guy. Same guy, and he has the funny mic. Can you believe it? <coughs> <coughs> Just incredible. God. It's maybe a shorter stream, I'm quite sick. But you know what would be absolutely sick? If I was able to run the top of the hour ad and... Ah! You guys were to subscribe. People, look. At the top of the hour, every hour on this chat, I run a minute long ad. Because I ask that every viewer supports the stream in some way, shape or form. But I understand that not every viewer. Alright. Not every viewer has the spare change, the spare cash, to subscribe, to donate, to, you know, whatever. And that's absolutely fine. I present a free option of support. Simply leave the stream open, a minute long ad will play. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to click on it. You just need to let the ad play and I will get paid. After one minute, the stream will resume. That's all I ask of you. However, if you would hate to watch an ad, if it would make you really, really mad, upset, you say time to leave, but if you leave, you're just going to come back with a pre-roll, so... But anyway. If you guys subscribe, then not only do I get more money for your viewership, you get 30 days of ad-free viewership on this stream, custom emotes, and a custom role on the Discord server that you are more than willing to hang out on with all the other subs, which is quite a nice little perk. So, if you would like to do me a favor, like Confuse Spooky Ghost and subscribe, especially with Prime, by clicking subscribe now and seeing if the Prime option is available, I encourage all of you to do it. Just click subscribe right now. It won't cost you anything to click it and just see if that Prime option's there. If it is, you've probably forgotten to use it, and in which case, for reminding you, I think I deserve it. Because at the end of the day, that's free money that you've wasted if, unless you do. And I forget to use it all the time. I wish someone was there to remind me, you know. So, you know, anyway. That's, that's my decree. That's my, uh... That's my message. I'm gonna run the ad now. If you want to be like Desire Vids and use your Prime that you clearly forgot, feel free to do it. But if not, I'll see you in one minute's time. See you in a sec. I'm actually probably gonna dip and uh, blow my nose quickly uh, because I don't feel too good. So uh, I'll see you in a sec. I'll play some sensory videos. Oh. Uh, all right. Mods, so, I mean subs even, not mods. Subs, I'll be back in a sec.
Veggie hours, let's go chat. Oh! Welcome back from the ads, everybody. Thank you for watching them. Appreciate it. Hope uh, you feel pretty good. I myself do not. <laughs> the, the sickness is kicking in. This might be a shorter stream. We'll watch a few more videos before we go. Eh? Oh, thank you. Thank you for watching them. The veggies are gone. I apologize. The music's ended. Right. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's watch the next video, shall we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry they're gone. I'm sorry. What is this? I don't think I've ever... This is just iconic British video, but I don't think I've ever seen this. Oh. That's so sick! I've never been in such a fun McDonald's. Thank you for the gift of the sub, by the way. Um, I've never in my life seen such a fun McDonald's. Usually the workers look like they want to die. I've never once... You know, the fucking... Beep, 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 boop, 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 from the fucking fries. Just would be enough to drive anyone insane. So fucking shout, shout out this guy for being the goat. How's Eleanor? She seems fine. She was outside on the balcony. Goated, goated McDonald's manager. Very cool. Didn't feel very British though. The sixty-nine joke again just feels a bit more American to me than the the, the energy of the room is British, but the joke itself. A little bit American, so, you know. Oh, this, however, is a British classic. Sitting down at assembly, singing this shit in primary school. So, I don't know, like, Americans, I'm going to explain every concept here because I don't know how many of them you had. Assembly. They grab all the students and they get talked to for a bit. It's not just your class, the whole lot of them. Just get the whole school together and get them to sit down. However, in primary school, because you're just children, what good is it preaching to children who don't have fully formed brains yet? Uh, they just used to make you sing songs that probably had some underlying meaning, but I can't really remember. But I remember um, Harvest Samba, Cabbages and Greens. But uh, apparently this is... I don't remember how it went exactly, but I do remember it. Cabbages and Greens Broccoli and beans Cauliflower and roasted potatoes Apricots and plums Ripened in the sun Oranges and yellow bananas, good for everyone. Oh, Harvest Festival, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I think it was Christian. I kind of forgot a lot of it was Christian. Anthem at attention. This seems superior to me. Oh, yeah, no, 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 yeah, so, fucking, American schools, there's this, this, oh, say, can you see, right? Boring, boring, I'm sorry, I, that, that whole pledging allegiance thing to the flag, the fact that you guys pledge allegiance to the flag every day freaks me out, fuck it, do you guys do that every day? My dad said you did, my dad once, um, my, 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 my grandmother's cousin, who isn't really a cousin, just a really close friend, um, went and lived in America so they would go visit a lot and my dad went once or twice as he was growing up and one time he kind of just had a couple of days where he went to American school they let him go for a couple of days which is pretty cool actually I, I imagine these days if you went hey can I just bring this random kid into your school they go no but they said yes and they let him ah he was British so I guess it was fun um and you got less tourism back then um so you know he went to an American middle school I think uh for a couple of days and he was like, really, it's really fucking weird. He's like, you just have to pledge allegiance to the flag every day. And that's like, I'm like, bro, America, I, got I think you might be a cult. I think you might be in a cult, you know? Because that's crazy. Like, I I'm all for patriotism. I'm all for, like, you know, wanting to help out your fellow countrymen and all that. That's fucking weird, bro. That's, that's, a, that's what you do in cults. I don't know if you know that. The start of every day, you go, I pledge allegiance to the great one. Mm, you know, if you, you know, you know, or replace the flag for a green alien, right? And that's Scientology, I think. I'm just going to be honest. It is weird. I think it's weird. I'm not judging you as individuals, because you're definitely brainwashed. But that is, that is fucking bizarre. Every assembly or start of day, yes, indeed. And at church, skeptical smiley face. 
And yes, emo, it's cult. Yeah, it weirds me out, man. It like actually scares. I think a lot of Americans, thankfully, are self-aware, but especially in the dawn of the internet. But yeah, it freaks me out. Like actually scares me about that fucking place. But like, I, I must admit, our, our, our schools just. I mean, it, the UK was especially back then. I feel like, oh, in the area I grew up, very, very majority Christian. So I feel like all the songs we sang ultimately like tie back to Christianity at some point. And this was about the Harvest Festival, which I didn't really realize was a Christian thing, but thinking about it, yeah. Which is where you used to bring in like tin goods and shit, uh, and they would give them to a homeless sh- shelter. And you, that was the school used to do it. The Harvest Festival used to bring in food. They, they never did anything else as far as I, I don't remember the festival part. I just remember the bit where you brought in food, um, which is not a bad thing, but I feel like to call it the Harvest Festival, there should be like... You know, the, the whole bit where you bring in stuff from the harvest and then there probably should be a festival. But I don't, I don't remember any... I don't remember, like, fucking Liam Gallagher coming out and performing at the end of the assembly. You know, I just remember singing this. Maybe that's the festival part. Maybe the festival part's where they all sing this banger. It was good, though. It was good. Like, I'm gonna, it, is, it is a good song, to be fair. But yeah, I don't, I don't s- seem to remember any festival element. Just, just harvest. Which is, again, it's fine. But, you know. I wonder if we get any more of these. I would like to hear. There, there was one in our school where I think it was supposed to say dessert. I think it might actually be this song. And it's supposed to say dessert at some point. But uh, it they'd spelt desert. Or they or another song where it said desert and they spelt... No, it was the other way around. It was supposed to say... It's, I think it said desert mouse, but they put dessert mouse. And I thought that was really funny. Like Kind of like Rasta mouse. But if he... Instead of being Rastafarian, it was just really like pudding, I guess. I don't fucking... You know, America is turning communist now. Oh, my God. Oh, you poor, poor person. Someone said that in chat. You're so brainwashed. Oh, you poor. You've been listening to Ben Shapiro, haven't you? You'll grow out of it. You'll grow out of it. It'll be fine. Don't worry. You've got time. You've got time to be healed. You're not turning communist. Don't worry. You're still pretty much the most right-wing country on the planet. We are. We really are. No. No. No, you're not, because the, the UK isn't communist, and we have privatized healthcare. Um, I mean, privatized, fucking public healthcare. Free public healthcare. Can you believe that? Free public healthcare. Uh, you know, a national benefit system. You know, all, the, all these things. And we are still not communist. I think America has a way to go. I'm gonna be, yes, free. The healthcare is, all you do is pay your taxes, and you get free healthcare. And look at all the Americans freaking out in the chat. All right, trust me, you're not turning communist, America. Don't worry about it. You'll be okay. You've got a long ways to go before even socialism is achieved. All right, right. You've got a long ways to go before even socialism is achieved. All right. Do not worry. All right? F- yes, free ambulance. The lot of the whole thing's free. Let me tell you a story. One morning. Before school, right? I'm going to tell you a story. This is this, this this is turning political now, but I feel like this is... I'm on the right side of history. I don't like getting political, but when it's the right side of history like this, and this is just a basic human right, I feel like it's worth... Guys. Anyone freaking out over America going kami honey, look up late stage capitalism. It's a natural progression and not the result of communism lol. Yeah, look. Look. Let's put it this way. One morning, right? I was awoken... To my dad shouting, my mum, right, saying he needed some help, and he had inadvertently. This is this is an, 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 a, an, a trigger warning here for for gore because it, it was pretty bloody. He had um, went to grab a glass from the top shelf, in doing so, knocked down another glass, and went to grab it on its way down. He like panicked, went oh, went to grab it. And the glass shattered. So in when the glass shattered, he then obviously still went to grab it, missed it, and ended up cutting his wrist, right? But like right into the main artery, which is obviously like, un- unless treated, death, right? That, that, that is the sort of severity of this injury, right? Right? So, so, so my dad, being the overtly calm man he is, shouts my mum. He goes, Jane, I need some help. And she goes... Uh, what now? And he goes, yes, now. So she goes down and she goes, what's wrong? And he's like, I've cut my wrist. And he's like, how bad is it? And he lifts the cloth off and he goes, and it squirts out blood. And my mum goes, ah, do you think you need an ambulance? And he went, 
probably. And she went, okay. And we called an ambulance. And not once in that conversation did we go, can we afford an ambulance? Now, if that had became part of the conversation, my dad may have died, right? This is why I think America, you live in a dystopia. I think there's a lot of great things about America, right? But the, the one thing is the fact that you have to sit... I, I, was aw- I, I was actually in America recently, and a friend of mine um, had what we thought was an Amer- a medical emergency. Turned out they just got really badly crossfaded and were tweaking really hard. Um, unbeknownst to me, I didn't realize they'd taken an edible. But they started tweaking real fucking hard. They went all non-verbal at the function. But we thought they were having a medical emergency. And then I was like, we should get an ambulance. And everyone in the room, it, went, it was like, like dead silence. I went, what? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, we should get an ambulance. Oh, no, no, the, no. Sorry, I didn't suggest it. Sorry. No. The security at the venue went, we'll get you an ambulance. And everyone else in the room but me went, because they were like, bills. And, 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 and then he went, don't worry. It'll be free. And like everyone calms down, right? But it's like, Fuck me, man. That should not be the response to hearing we'll get an ambulance. Is everyone freaks out because they're like, who's going to foot the bill? That's crazy. I have legit waited two hours after getting hit by a car on a highway going 80 and had to deny the ambulance because I literally didn't have the money for it. My brother drove to me and then took me to the hospital. Q waiting room for an hour lol. And I still haven't now, paid off the bills. I, I'm not going to talk on the wait because the thing about the NHS is it's a great system and everyone gets free healthcare, but it's massively underfunded and understaffed. So the wait times are arguably worse than that. Although the ambulance is free, you can be waiting a little while. Um, you mean all YouTubers aren't bajillionaires? More, I mean, one, no, but also not all my friends are YouTubers. That's a very. What? Um, you know. Um, but like. You know, like, yeah, I just, you know, if we'd had to sit, sit there and go, mm, can we foot this bill? And my dad might have died because, like, the paramedics had to come and, like, you know, like, pack his wound and shit. Like, you know, because, like, he was, you know, actively sort of bleeding to death, you know. And, and I didn't see any of this. They had to, you know, they had to what? They had to pack his, you know, packing a wound is? It's a, it, they do it in the military. Um, it's, like, kind of a very, you know, tend to have to do it in life you said come i did not say come oh did i said the paramedics had to come oh I, they had to come pack his wound funny no i meant like they had to come like they had to come to the house and then they had to pack his wound separate thing is he all okay yeah now this was years ago i was still in school but this is the thing this is the other part of the story this was such a non-stressful situation well it was stressful obviously but like compared to now having to compare conf- you know if i was in america i'd go oh the insurance ah i can't afford the bill ah and then he, you know, he might have considered too long. I, I literally, my dad did that. They shipped him off in an ambulance and I went to school. I went to school. Which is also free. It's, I don't know if school, actually schooling might be free in America. I don't know about. Is schooling free? Is schooling free but healthcare isn't? Because that's fucking wild. That's wild. That's really weird to me. Public school is free, private isn't. Yeah, that, 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 no, that makes sense. We also have, like, funnily, I think we call, I think, now this is where it gets confusing. I think the ones you pay for over here are called public schools, which is very confusing. Yeah, you, you pay for public schools, which, which is very, that's confusing, right? So public school is the one you pay for. And then, I, 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 I don't know what. The free, the free one, I've never heard of. It's just fucking school, isn't it? Wait, does lunch money count as paying? No, no, no. Most schools still charge you. Ass backwards country. <laughs> I must admit, I do not understand why we call our paid for schools public schools. I've never quite got that. Public versus private school. I'm actually going to look this up. What's the difference between state, public, and private? So, st- uh, this is... this. Okay. So state school is the, what I went to, which is just government funded. Cool. Private independent schools. Private schools, also uh, referred to as independent schools, do not receive money from the government. Instead, fund themselves through school tuition pay, fees paid for each pupil. These schools are overseen by government. Uh, okay, what well, public schools? In the UK, public schools are the most prestigious private schools. Oh, so public schools are just private schools that are really prestigious. 
Because I think my school went private right before I left, but not private in the sense that we paid for it, but private in the sense that it wasn't funded by the government. It was funded by some other body, but students still didn't have to pay. It's like Eton and shit. Yeah, exactly, like Eton. Very weird. We probably should watch another video now. I just... I get very passionate about free healthcare. I think it's one of the greatest things this country ever did. And the fact that it's at jeopardy right now, because the fucking Tory party's been in power for fucking yonks, makes me pissed off. I think it's, like, by far... Like, it's not a perfect system, I'm not gonna say that, but I think it's by far the greatest accomplishment of British government. You know? But anyway, I just had to... I have to ramble about it when I get an opportunity, because I, I just... I do... I, I do strongly believe it's fucking amazing. Anyway. Give me fucking oh, this is the clip that blew up, blew up Angry Ginge. That guy makes me laugh. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you for the hundred bits. Bang! Part life! Still in debt from it. I'd rather crawl to the earth. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. Like, yeah, fifteen hundred dollars for an ambulance trip is fucking mental. Yeah, I love having free health care, but what I don't love is waiting 11 hours with a severe headache. No, I completely get that. That is the fault of the British system. But here's, and now, now here's my thing, right? Here's my thing. If you have the money, you can pay for private healthcare. And now here's my argument. And I, I, again, I think healthcare should be affordable for everyone. I think it should be, I, I think it should be, I don't think tiers of healthcare should be billed. Like, I don't think you should be able to, like, I think everyone should be entitled to the best quality of healthcare because life is life. And I don't think monetary value, you know, dictates the value of life. However, no system is perfect. And when you take the American system where the poorest in society don't get healthcare and only the richest can pay for it, when, and then you compare it to the British system where the poorest in society get healthcare, they just have to wait a long time, and the richest get it but they don't have to wait, that still isn't ideal. Like, you can pay to avoid the wait, which isn't ideal. I'd rather you just didn't have to pay at all. But at least there's an option. Like, you know, I think the, the best option is to fund the NHS. But the, the option that the poorest get something, and yeah, sure, you could pay for extra if you want it. I'd prefer that everyone got it, but at least, at least there's an option, right? It's better than if you're poor, nothing. If you're rich, live. That, that is a much more fucking hor horrific system. Like, I get the UK system is, is flawed. Like, waiting 11 hours is ridiculous. But, you know, better than a lot of places. We're doing all right. You know, that's how I see it. You know, it, again, it's not perfect. Pretty good. That's how I see it. Anyway, this feels like a pretty... Beyond my rant about the NHS being one of the most British things I've done on stream, this feels pretty British. Imagine Park Life, the thing we played earlier that was the most British song ever. But then you put one of the most British videos. Fucking big TikTok logo, loud noise. That was a great way to end that. Really American. Even though, I mean, TikTok's a Chinese app, but I still feel it is Americanized in some way. Just curious, do you guys have to pay a ton of money for EPI pens or inhalers? Uh, no, EPI pens and inhalers are also free. And they absolutely should be. Imagine you have a deadly allergy, but there's a device that can save your life. And, there's, you, and you live in a country, right, with a government. And that government has trillions in funding every year. I believe, and now I may be controversial in saying this, I believe they should use some of those trillions to make sure that their citizens, of which there are many, that have life-threatening allergies, have the relatively cheap-to-produce pen that can save their lives. I think... I Please think I require both and I pay over $100 for each individual yes, loudly crying. and I think you shouldn't America is trillion trillions of dollars in debt everyone's trillions in dollars everyone is in debt every country in the world pretty much is in debt all right they're all in debt 
They all still have funding because they all just keep taking out loans and getting in more debt because they know really they're never going to have to pay back the debt. The debt's not real. Money isn't real. It's not real. They still have the funding. They still can afford it. They're all trying to, you know, lower the debt, but it's, it, they're not going to do it. Fucking, and inhalers too. Same argument. Fucking pisses me off. It's just, I, 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 you know, America's got some great values and it has some really shit ones. And, and, and when it comes to healthcare, it's bottom of the barrel. It, it, they're just, their mindset on it is as well. I think you should, have, everyone should have to fend for themselves. Is like, what's the point in society then? You got this whole society built around you and it has money and it can spare some for its most underprivileged. It probably should. Kill me, you know? If I was in America for saying things like this, I probably would. I'd have a knock. I'd get, I'd get swatted immediately. And it wouldn't be some like random doxer. It would be the CIA themselves. <laughs> the CIA themselves would catch wind that I'm educating children on other political opinions. And they go, ah! and they'd fucking shoot me dead. And they make out that it was some terrorist. Anyway. Hey, up. And welcome to Callum's comment. Why are, you, oh, why are you so muffled, Callum? And why are you only in my right ear? Now, I've had to say this a few times now, but this is the final time that I will say this. Shut up about my head. It is normal. It is a nice head. It does not look like a sodding tic-tac. I've always really struggled to work out whether Callum's Corner is a character. Because when he goes, shut up, he almost cuts himself off. He's so pissed off. And that feels very genuine. But the more I've seen him do, the more I'm like, he's got to be putting it, out, putting it on. He's got to be. Now, I've had to say this a few times now. It doesn't look like a tic-tac, though. That is the, like, I, rec I, I think I've got a relatively long head. It's not crazy, but like it, it's, it's on the longer end of heads. And yet, not even I have a squashed tic-tac head like this, man. This is the final time that I will say this. Shut up about my... He reminds me of a kid I went to school with so badly. He goes, shut up. Head. It is normal. It is a nice head. It does not look like a sodding tic-tac. I don't think you know who you're dealing with here. Look how tall I am. Just no frame of reference. He just gets up and he just expects you to know how big his wall is to compare him. Six foot five. Look at me. I'm like a beast. That was. He did hit himself pretty hard there. The want bicep to be was weak though. me, I tell you. And you idiots, all of you, the people who are mocking me, you look like spasmoids. One of them looks like a jacket potato with glasses on it. I wasn't head. expecting that word to come out. And I swear there's ginger people trying to mock me. <laughs> you know. Like they're like they're completely off limits. They can't possibly. I I swear there's ginger people trying to mock me. I'm like I have to, like 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 they are like <laughs> like ginger people have like it's like you're ginger. You can't say anything. Fucking hell. I'm not the kind of person you want to be messing with. I don't like cats. I don't think kittens and puppy dogs are cute. In fact, I think. All cats are dickheads, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> I love his reasoning for, like, showing you that he's solid. It's just like, I don't like cats. I, I, I just, I don't feel emotions like other people. Uh, when I see them in my garden, I'm not cooing over them. I run out there and, ah, scare them away. So you want to think carefully before you start mocking them. Yeah, it'll video. scare you, mate. I'm taking names down and I will shame you all in a video. I will, you wouldn't be saying this if you were standing in front of me. You'd be... Towering. That's true. It would be. You know, when I eat peanut M&Ms, I crush each one in my fingers, so I'm strong. Do you know what I mean? You need to stop this stupidity. He definitely is a character. That is hilarious, too. Or there will be consequences. Names are taken, and you will be shamed in a video. That's all I've got to say about that. How many views does this have? 4.9 million views. That is fucking funny. How many years ago was this? 2016. What's that? Seven years. And then he made a sequel. My head does look like a sodding tic tac. You win. Hey, up and welcome to Canada. He's like in tears. He's in tears. The, the reality was so fucking harsh for him. It's been the worst night of my life. Oh my God. I went for a McDonald's. I said I was gonna, so I did. I'll try and console myself. 
had a Big Mac. The mic quality is better, and he did get a Big Mac. In honour of Michelle, it was like taking some kind of sad communion. It stuck in my throat. I couldn't even eat it. Who's Michelle? Ended up just walking round and round and round on my own, lonely and alone. It all just hit home, didn't it? Everyone was right. My head does look like a solid tic-tac. I'm not going to be with anyone. Oh, no. Come on. No, you can. You're funny. And that goes a long way, as far as I'm concerned. It helped me out. Bless him. Wait, hold on. It also gets me, though. It was Afghan Dan who made the video dissing Callum's Corner, calling him Tic Tac, right? Afghan Dan made Tic Tac business dissing Callum's Corner, right? So if you guys know that. He was a it was a it was a British grime rapper at the time, right? Let me just show you a bit of the video. Whipping the arcade machine! That's crazy! The problem with Afghan Dan saying all this, right, is Afghan Dan recently a video uh, was released of a TikToker who basically sits outside courtrooms and asks people why they're in court. And you'll never guess who they found sat outside of court ready to get sentenced. It was no one other than BG Media famed hey, mate, what's Afghan Dan. And you'll never guess the shape of Afghan Dan's head once he takes off the fucking hat. What's happening uh, with the South Side Preston Crown Court? What are you in court for, buddy? I'm in court for burglaries and fraud. Guilty or not guilty? Guilty, bro. Guilty is charged. Guilty is charged. Burglaries and fraud. Who's a Tic Tac, Dan? You know who isn't down for burglaries and fraud? Fucking Callum, mate. And guess what? Your head is even more freakish because it's like a Tic Tac if, tic -tac if it swelled at the top. Right? Settle down, Megamind. Right? No need for big thoughts like that. Breaking and entering isn't that hard. All right? Ridiculous. He's been clearly scheming some mega fraud in there. Because that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Right? Settle down, Dan. Ridic- I can't believe. I can't believe. I genuinely can't believe this man had the audacity to call Callum's Corner a Tic Tac. It actually makes me so angry. Look at it! And he's got a fucking ankle bracelet on under his sock. Also, fucking black... I mean, he's got the black shoes on. All right, I'm, I'm forgiving that. I was about to say black ankle socks with shorts is pretty rough. But with black shoes, mm, uh, almost. I think, I think it's still pretty... There's actually a US senator recently. This is going to be the only American video we watched today who uh, was asked a question uh, about Trump and he completely ignores it uh, just to roast the guy's outfit. Um... Uh, where is it? This, 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 this is the video, right? This is what I have to say to Afghan Dan. Before Trump's call to shut down the government? He has not called me, and I do not, I do not support you wearing black socks with short pants. <laughs> Just completely avoids the question. Just like, I do not support you wearing the black socks with the short pants. Bro, bro is so old. He says short pants instead of shorts. And even he knows that is fucking despicable. Despicable what's on his legs. Despicable what's on his legs. Hey, mate, what's and Afghan Dan with his fucking swollen Tic Tac head and his fucking black socks with the short pants had the audacity to call my goat Callum's Corner. A fucking Tic Tac. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Actually makes me so angry. It makes me so angry. When I saw this video, one, I, first I laughed because what do you mean Afghan Dan's getting sentenced for fucking burglary and fraud? Uh, and then secondly, come on now.
That's ridiculous. The loafers help me. I think Jack would wear short pants. I'd wear the short pants. I wouldn't be wearing them with the black socks though. But yeah. I just I, I can't believe Afghan Dan had the audacity. You know. Call him a music recording application the way he has that audacity. What the fuck? This how is this a br what the fuck have you sent? I asked for British videos, right? I went, send me your most British videos, right? I just wanted to get to the... <laughs> yeah, no, ban that guy. Whoever sent that. What's their username? What's their username? I don't know. 696969696. Just fucking ban them. I sound like fucking death grips. Those guys. 696966. Get it to you. Anyway. What's this? I've just started this collection. What the fuck? I think I've seen this before. I've just had this calypso. I've just started this calypso. It is fucking minging. Paradise punch lemonade. It is fucking minging. Suck your dad. It's minging. It's fucking minging. I don't get the edit. Fucking ming I don't get the edit with the gameplay. Suck your dad. It's Guess what? All shadows against concrete. A sickly sweet odor fills the air. The parking lot is dyed in a natural state of red. It's minging. It's fucking minging. I really like the way she says Mingin. Wow, well, sound like Tiny Tim. Yeah, have you ever seen him? I feel like that's a British classic. Who's seen that fucking ginger, ball, almost bald, but he's ginger um, fella that does like, I'm, I'm three, nearly six. Him? I've never done that before. That voice just kind of came out. I didn't even know. I didn't know I could Tiny Tim it up, you know? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should start doing prank calls and be like, it's me, Tiny Tim. Fucking, I'm three, nearly six. You don't say fucking, um, I, I just want to know, um, and he goes, love you, love you, as he hangs up and stuff. That guy. There we are. I don't even know, right? Good to know that we can do that. That'll be, that'll be, that'll be a bit one day. My guy, why does your face structure just look like everyone TF, like get a red wig and beanie on and you'd look like that drawing? That looks nothing like... You are so wrong. It's not my nose. It just, I, I look nothing like... He's got thin-ass fucking lips. I've got... Mm, 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 beautiful lips. That's just silly. That's silly. That's a really silly... Thank you for three pounds, but that's a silly comment. Just absolutely wrong. Anyway. Love you! That's, that's good to know. That's happening. There's gonna be, you're gonna see like a Tommy in it video in a few days where like he's got me to record and like I've like remembered, I've remembered like that I can do that and I'm gonna like, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna throw that in. <coughs> <coughs> oh, this is, this is iconic. Iconic come dine with me moments. Those of you who don't know, for those of you who haven't seen the Memeless We Watch series, which I feature in. Right, we actually recorded a new one today. Maybe that's a spoiler. Maybe George doesn't want me saying that, but hey, keep an eye out. It's up to the meme in this channel. New We Watch with Jack Manifold, one of the, the fan favorite guests coming out in a few days. You know, come down with me. British TV show. You get four people together and they, they invite people to their house and they host like a little dinner party. And as they go home, everyone rates the dinner party out of 10. Whoever wins gets a grand. They get a thousand pounds. That was the TV show. Relatively straightforward. The, the best guest on George's channel? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I mean... I, I personally argue it's James Marriott. I think James Marriott is the best for the We Watch series, but I'll, I'll take number two. But yeah, that's what Come Down With Me is. Pretty good. But it did inspire some fucking mental cases to apply to that show. And, uh, you know. See what that tastes like. Like that. <laughs> Just what on earth? 
Why on earth would you opt to talk? Why don't you, why don't you just, you know what you do? At this point here, you want to open your whole mouth around the fucking whisk and struggle to fit it in your gob. You just, you go. You know, you lick the whisk is what you do. You go up, up the side of the whisk. And even then, you probably wouldn't. You just taste it with a little teaspoon. That, that, you just go. You know, that would be the best way to do it. But, you know, licking the side of the whisk is like, you know. Didn't he put the whisk back in the bowl after two? If he does, that is, that is horrific. That's horrific. Oh, yeah, the slurp is terrible. Yeah, I hate it. I do hate it. What's M.R. saying? Big up that was I earlier and I I assure you this streamer manifold love manifold Actually, is, is it plugged too. in right is is, is Alexa plugged in I don't know if it is. Alexa? Are you in here? Yes, I'm here. I listen once, I hear the wait word. Did you hear that? I didn't know she was in this room. I knew there was one in the bedroom and one in the kitchen. I had no idea. I, I thought there was maybe one in here. But today, right, I, I said, I said, Alexa, play, um, Ellie has a playlist she likes and I wanted to put on some music for her. So I, I, I told her and the playlist is called Sick Tunes for Allies, I think, right? That's the playlist name. So I said, Alexa, play sick tunes. Oh, I said good tunes for allies, I think, on Spotify. That's what I said. Now it's playing sicko mode. That isn't what I wanted. No, Alexa, stop. And I, I assure you, I'm, I'm so serious. I'm actually so serious, right? I said that, and this is what happened. Hold on. How are you playing both? Alexa, stop playing Pump It Up. Oh, okay, Alexa. Basically, I, I told it to play Ellie's Players, and I swear to God it went playing Turn Red by M.R., right? I'm so serious. I'm so serious. It went... It went, it went, now playing Turn Red by M.R. And then it was like, what is that? It just, it just went into it. And, I, and Eleanor looked at me like I'd done it on purpose. Like, I'm like, I'm so serious. I asked it to play your playlist. She's like, can we put some music on? I, and she thought I'd done it as a meme. I'm like, I'm so serious. I'm not even trying to do this to troll. I actually played your playlist. And you've had, also, thank you for the 14 months of having more hair than me. <coughs> but I'm actually so serious. Oh, this is a classic. I showed this schlat. You know, everyone laughs at Biden for doing stupid set shit, right? You know, falling over, getting lost, not being able to speak. I mean, it really is a lot. But when we had Boris Johnson as our um, prime minister, he did some pretty... Cr he, well, before he was the prime minister, he actually. He never did much. I don't remember much during his prime ministership, but I remember before it, he'd done some shit. Uh, I didn't read out my it didn't read out my summaries because I said piss you know because piss cloud it could have played while you flexed on Americans with public health care. I'm sorry I don't know what you oh piss badge poggers ah well congrats on your piss badge anyway uh this is the craziest thing maybe not actually probably tackling that child to the ground was the worst thing Boris Johnson ever did uh, but this was well the silliest by far. <laughs> This is when he was the mayor of London. He went over a festival on a zip line waving two British flags, right? Which is already this is this is this became the leader of our country, by the way. And he did this. But then the craziest part is he then proceeds as you'll see once he's done zipping past and people cheer him on doing this really weird thing. He then proceeds to get stuck. 
He then proceeds to have to be to have to be roped along. They have to rope him along. They have to rope him along. I really like that. The mods had to allow the term this looks, is a full of looks like a right twat because someone had put that in the chat and the auto mod had detected it and the mods went, no, no, no. Looks like a right twat is appropriate in this context. That's very good. That was my favorite look over and see the mod approve a phrase. And that was, yeah, looks like a right twat. Did daddy. Anyway, see what this is. See what this is, eh? Did daddy. What are you doing? Why are you... S oh. <laughs> Not majorly British. <laughs> <coughs> Fucking hell. They really did go postal, didn't they, the post service? Just massacring children. Terrible what he did. Don't put stupid idiot baby. Don't put what an idiot. He didn't know. He didn't know. He thought his dad was there. He's waiting for his dad. It is funny, though. <laughs> the fact that he goes straight in his mouth, like he opens his mouth for it because he doesn't know what to do. I think that's the thing against me, like his mouth comes open if you watch. Watch. He like opens his mouth. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and then just. <laughs> that was gross. That was gross. Hold. Oh, I just. I laughed so hard I blew a big fucking snot bubble out my nose. Did you guys see that? I'm having to wipe the mic. That's disgusting. Did you guys not see that? Did I cover my nose in time? Oh, I'm so sorry. That's so gross. I have a clip of when you did it, ew. No, 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 no. No, I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's so grim. I'm so sorry. That just I laughed and I, I'm all I'm all congested because I'm ill. Alright, hold on. Just, just listen to the music while I blow my nose. Oh, you know what? I'm really glad that happened though, because I, as much as it was gross that happened on stream, I can actually breathe now. I like shot the main bit of my congestion out with my laughter. So thanks to that postman for fucking like Absolutely clarting that child because if he hadn't I wouldn't have cleared my nose So really it all uh, it all you know it all uh, it all came around it all, all made it worth it in the end Really and that guy just absolutely chinned that kid Anyway, I hope no one saw me do that. I'm not <coughs> <coughs> Not sure if anyone did god. I'm sick. I mean not uh, not in a good way either. It's this TikTok Turn the music off Oh god. Let's see what this is. Oh. So using your hands. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just I just it, uh. Fish and chips. A British That's monstrous. Those peas, those mushy peas look fucking oh my they need to be at least a little bit liquidy. They are, they look dry as shit. Your fish cake equally looks dry, which I didn't know was a thing. And why do you only have about six chips? That's minging! That is minging! That's awful. That is abuse. That's awful. That is horrible. That is not a British classic. Fish cake is a fish finger. No, it isn't. Delight! Served with mushy peas. It's an amazing sight! Mashed and seasoned. Assumed. Classic mayo. Oh, you... Oh. I'm sorry. I almost... Oh. I really... I almost called them... Yeah, I always call them something unkind. That actually pissed me off a lot. What do you mean? What do you mean you're using mayo instead of fucking... You use tartar sauce with your fish. Tartar sauce. Maybe gravy or curry sauce. If you want something warm. Gravy is the correct option, but curry sauce is alright. Treat. It just simply can't be beat. Can't be beat. You sound like fucking Gigglesaurus. See, this is more... A British chippy. A no. 
No! Oh, the chips and curry sauce actually looks alright, but the pizza looks fucking minging. Hey, Joy, no quip. Golden fries, a hearty Oh, no. Oh, wait. Pizza so crisp, a savoury trip. In every bite, tradition... Oh, it looks cold and shit. Oh, my God, that looks minging. Oh, you are dirty. You are dirty. Do you know that? That's really put me off. And All right, let's see what this is. This this is a sketch show, but it is British. So let's see if this is a British video. God, why is the pizza not like deep fried? All right, well, no, come on now. Why does it look like it was greased in oil? It did look very greasy. I hate when pizza looks greasy. Well, Schlatt doesn't seem to mind from my knowledge. And I think that's like, he's tapped. And a few moments ago, we received this amateur video footage, which seems to show that the Queen and John Major were involved in some kind of drubbing incident. What? They're dancing, I think. Are they... What, what's happening? What's drubbing? And as a result of that broadcast, the crisis has deepened dramatically. I'm joined by our crisis correspondent, Spartacus Mills. Spartacus, this is huge history happening, it, isn't it? It's bigger than that, Chris. It's large. I mean, if you've got a history book at home, take it out, throw it in the bin. It's worthless. The history books now will have to be rewritten. What will they say? They'll quite simply say, John Major punched the Queen. Everything else will be a footnote. I'll push for time. <laughs> I fucking love Steve Coogan. I think Steve Coogan, like, is one of the fucking funniest comedians you know you know i just uh i'm just gonna send a message real quick oh wait no shit shit i forgot about that I was going to be working. This still might happen in the future. So actually, I would love... You know, I'm going to ask your guys' thoughts without spoiling too much. I... Yeah, I'm sure I'm allowed to do... You know what? Fuck it, whatever. Won't be the end of the world. Um, I was supposed to be doing... It seems to have been cancelled. Um, uh, at least this time round. But we might, we might reschedule it. I was supposed to be doing a stream with a British comedian. But it was kind of a case that I got to pick which comedian we did it with. Now, I did have it scheduled in with someone who I won't name. Um, but if I have to reschedule it, which comedians would you guys like to see? Because this is the problem. I was obviously partially picking for me because I, I'm going to pick someone I think is funny and good to bounce off of. But also, <coughs> like, who are you guys interested in in terms of British? They have to be British, though. Is it the cheese guy? What on earth? Is no, that, that, he's not even a comedian. He's, he's a car man. Daz Black, he is just a YouTuber. I know he does a bit of comedy, but he is, he is on the forefront of YouTuber. I mean, like, you know, mainstream. Daz Black, if he counts, I don't think he counts. I, I shouldn't have said he's just a YouTuber. That feels very rude. Sorry, Daz. That felt like I was dismissing you. I just mean, like, he is, uh, you know, that, he, he's kind of, he falls into YouTubers in my head. Use your elbow to cough. I know I should. Lee Mack, James Acaster. I've seen a lot of James Acaster. Jack Whitehall. Philomena Kunk. She is a character, but I, I do really like that character. Ed Gamble. Also, I think, possibly a character. Um, or is he not? Am I making that up? Who's Ed Gamble? No rings a bell. Oh, no. Ed Gamble. No, I do recognize Ed Gamble. Never mind. He's not a character. Made him up. I got his name confused with someone else. He's not. But yeah, Ed Gamble is a real guy. My fault. Got him mistaken with something else. Uh, but okay. Not to you can't put Tommy in it. He's definitely not a comedian. But yeah. All right. Good to have our list. Good to have our list. Stephen tries, I would say, although he is a comedian, also falls under like YouTuber in this instance. But thank you for your suggestions. I'll be bearing these in mind. This, what I was planning on doing may get rescheduled. And it may get rescheduled with the original comedian, who I think you guys, you guys will enjoy. Uh, but if it does not, then there's a couple of names from uh, the chat that I could definitely lift. So, uh, you know. But uh, I think Coogan would be someone on my list. I'd love to do something with Steve Coogan. And I can't remember if he was on my list of potential people, but he might have been. He may have been on my potential list of, like, you, you could possibly work with this guy. 
I had a list. I have a short list of people that are accessible. I'll let you guys know. Um, can you sum it up in a word? No. The sound? <laughs> Spartacus, thank you. <laughs> that was a good bet. Can you sum it up in a word? Be rewritten. What will they say? They'll quite simply say, John Major punched the Queen. Everything else will be a footnote. A push for time. Can you sum it up in a word? No. The sound? <laughs> Spartacus, thank you. <laughs> it's a good, that's a good sound. He's a great actor. He recently, and now this is where the stream is slightly dark. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it, but um, J Jimmy Savile was a prolific, he was a prolific UK celebrity who, oh, upon his death, we discovered he was actually just a prolific paedophile, uh, which was a very bad thing. Uh, but they made a documentary about it at the BBC, and uh, Steve Coogan took the fucking, in my opinion, ballsy, very ballsy job of playing um, Jimmy Savile in this, like, do it's not a documentary, it's, um, it's a, what's it called? Like a doc, like docudrama, like it's like a dramatization of the events that unfolded, you know the the you know Jimmy Savile, uh, and Coogan opted to play Savile, and it is like the most like horrific, terrible watch, but like biopic. Thank you, I couldn't think what it was called. Like just 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 genuinely terrible, not mockumentary. That is not the word, um, because like it was a real thing, but it was like it, instead of being a, a documentary that's like with real i mean there's a little there's a on the in the last episode there's an interview with like real victims but like it, it's it's a, dra a dramatization of like the the true story right and coogan played savile and it was like you know it was a fucking horrific watch but like oh my he's a he is a terrific actor it's called the reckoning but it, he's a terrific I like like it really coogan has already proven himself to be a great actor coogan that was the comedian the, the guy who played spartacus right at the end there in that comedy sketch we just watched where he's like can you sum it up in a word the guy who played the guy goes Whoa! uh you know he did alan partridge and stuff um also yeah did it but like it, he kind of proved himself as like a you know fucking a person who's able to get real dark with it and it was like really really impressive but also just like deeply uncomfortable watch you know Karis, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. <coughs> but yeah. You know. Oh, this is... Uh, moving on. Very quickly, I apologize. But this is a very classic British video. I, I remember showing this to my grandparents and apologizing that it had swear words in it because I was young, but ultimately thinking that it was very, very, very fucking funny. It's definitely fake. I've seen this guy around, but it is good. I can't believe how drunk you are. I am not drunk. Yes, you are. I am not fucking drunk. Can you tell the time? Yes. I am not fucking drunk. Such a stupid fucking basic joke. Great execution. First time I saw it, did not expect it at all. I really, really liked the video. Also, it was enough to convince me the first time when I was young. He's not, I don't think he's drunk. He can tell the time. Drunk people can't tell the time. Drunk people can't tell the time at all. I really do like that video. Anyway. Yeah, that, that's certified British classic. This is a certified British classic. Oh, that's not good. You all right, mate? Can't park there, sir. <laughs> I can, I'm a police officer is a very witty response, to be fair. I can, I'm a police officer is, is, is fair news to him. <laughs> you say Shadow Wizard Croydon Gang. Tis about a scratch. Yeah, no, that car, that is a write-off. That is a write-off. This is... No, I'm not going to do the fucking... You ever seen the video of like the guy that played McLovin doing like like they 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 pretend that he did all those sounds? He's like, real trap shit. We make it look easy. Damn son, where'd you find this? Like he's like on a mic and he like he keeps like he's like shut up a second, shut up a second. Damn son, and he like hits it. I fucking love it. Jackie, do more video with Schlatt. My next video. Which I need to work on a little bit of, but then we'll be out in a few days afterwards. Unless the sponsorship delays us, because it looks like it might. Um, no, it is actually him. No, it isn't. I don't believe it. The voice sounds too different. I don't believe it. This is a certified hood classic. 
But anyway, uh, that, yeah, that's not him. That's not the McLovin kid. Anyway, next video, main channel, subscribe. X much more Nuvid in the chat because you should check out the hour long vlog. If you want Schlatt and Jack content, an hour long vlog of me and Schlatt in Japan is up on the main channel now. X much point Nuvid in the chat. However, in either late November or early December, depending on which uh, sponsor actually fucking takes the video because two of them are kind of arguing over it, depending on which one actually gets it, it'll either be out in late November or. Early. It technically was supposed to be out tomorrow, uh, but that sponsor hasn't sent me the product, so I can't really do the sponsorship. So I'm going to assume we're probably doing the other one, unless they're willing to give me a delay, which I'm more than happy to take. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> yeah, you know, I'm just going to fill you in. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Wait, you're sub to yourself? Um, no, I think I'm on my I'm on my main channel, so no, I'm not sub to myself. <coughs> yeah, I coughed into my elbow this time. I love our honest streamer. That is the honest truth. Like, I want to get out as soon as possible, but we're sponsorship really does help out. You know, I'll be I'll be I'm I'm gonna be even blunter these days. It costs me more to film and edit the YouTube videos that I make back from them, unless they're sponsored. I kind of need a sponsor every once in a while to make the channel affordable. Uh, so, because I like making cool videos, but cool videos are expensive. Now, obviously, I stream and stuff, and, you know, subbing helps and all that. But, yeah, the, uh, the main channel without sponsorships does not make its money back. So, we kind of need them. So, apologies for waiting, but we kind of need them. Uh, you know, I mean, luckily, we've, we've got streaming in the VODs channel and all that, so... We're doing fine. And th I really appreciate your support here because, as I say, YouTube, and it, it doesn't make any money. Uh, but, you know, who should we convince to sponsor you? We, we got, I got, I got, uh, we got people. We, we, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We just, uh, we're just, we're just trying to work out a date is all. I'll sponsor you. I have one dollar. Thank you very much. You're very kind people. Let's see what the next video is. You know what? You can't <coughs> get to fucking this. I think I'm cleaning these. Don't fucking think so. You can all take your money and fuck off somewhere else. Taking me for a fucking cunt. Are you all right? Do you want me to do the dishes or something? You don't have to scream the whole house down. I have to scream so you all fucking listen to it. What is she doing? She's always out in the street. Can't she just fucking stay in? What do you mean she's allowed out, Mum? Jesus. You know what makes me laugh? Do you want me to tell you what makes me laugh? Oh, no, no. Tell us. Tell us. I actually, that is a classic British. You, you want to know what makes me laugh? You know what makes me laugh about that? And that means, you know what really pisses me off about that? It's, 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 it's the best, like, completely, like, we, we're not saying what we mean. When people go, you know what makes me laugh? It's always, you know what really makes me fucking angry about that thing? Every time. That, you know, that, that's a classic. That is, this is very British. What makes you laugh? It makes me laugh that she's on the sick. There's nothing wrong with what I'm seeing her running around the street after her kids. First time I've seen her looking after her kids, to be honest. She can do what she wants, but you leave her alone. No, I won't leave her alone. You want to know why? Because it's people like her who stop people like me from getting that money. And what's up with you? Go on, tell me why she can get that money and you can't. What's up with me? You're taking the piss. I'm riddled with depression sitting in this house with you. <laughs> Blame the children. Classic. I never grew up on a council estate, but plenty of my friends did. So I did witness some of the council estate life, you know. I don't mean to sound privileged here because, you know, but, uh, you know, Mansfield is is like mostly council estate and then some bits that aren't. And I was lucky enough to be on the bit that wasn't. But self-report Tory. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just because I'm not, I didn't live on a council estate doesn't mean I'm not a Tory. Like, there's a middle ground. There's, there's, a, there's quite a broad middle ground. Council estate is, um, is basically um, people who can't afford housing. Uh, there's like, you get council housing. Housing from the council. I imagine... I don't really know how it works. I actually don't know how the council housing system works. But, uh, you know, that's that's basically how it works. But, um, yeah. L Tory snob. You guys, you guys, no, that is not on. You guys are not on for that. All right? I grew up near the council estate. Just not on it. Betty shops at Waitrose too. Only when I'm here. In London. Because it's the nearest shop. I haven't found another shop nearby, except for a Saint, uh, uh, a Tesco Express. But that doesn't yeah, Tesco Express 
like that isn't a real shop. There's not enough stuff there. You, you can nip in for a meal deal, but you can't. But that that's only when I'm here, right? I, I, when I'm in Brighton, I shop at, you know, reasonable places like the co-op or Sainsbury's. You know? Someone said, I bet you shop at co-op when you're home, though. And I feel like I've fallen into a trap there by saying that immediately. No Tesco's. Oh, am I in trouble? Everyone. Sainsbury's is the new Waitrose. Fuck off. No, it's not. Now, real ones shop at Aldi. Aldi is it, uh, just. Look, look, I would if, if, if I if I genuinely was given the choice. I'm an Asda guy. Right? I grew up as an Asda guy. But there's no Asda near me in Brighton. The only Asda I know of in Brighton is on the fucking marina. And like without doxing myself, I don't live close to the marina particularly. Not close enough that it's worth going there. Right? I would be an Asda guy. Aldi's also pretty good. But again, you know, it's like... Aldi's cool, but I just... I, 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 I just work off of convenience. You know? Because you gotta think, if I go, if I go to like a shop that's further away, then I lose what I save in my shopping on like Ubering to get there because I don't have a car. You know, because like you can't walk with a whole fucking like I I don't do frequent shopping. I do infrequent big shops, right? And you can't, you just can't do it. There's a Poundland next to that one co-op. Too. There's a few Poundlands in Brighton. I, I'm not. I'm not saying I shop at any particular co-op. That would be fucking stupid. Like you know. But what I am saying is that fucking right Poundland, Poundland right is not a place you can do your full week shop at. You can't do that. I. You know what I bought from Poundland? My uh, now I sound like a, a dickhead. I bought my wine glasses. All right. You, you want to know? I bought my wine glasses. I bought my wine glasses from Poundland. I got two wine glasses for a pound, which I think is a great fucking deal. But now everyone's going to go, oh, you drink wine. Oh, Brian. Poundland is British Dollar Tree, but it also... His wine glasses for his 974 wine bottles. 974 is a reasonable price for wine, I think. And I would, and, and, and I'm going to be honest here, and now I'm going to get even more honest. I'd probably pay more. I, I, you know, when I buy wine, I treat myself. I might go up to 12. I might go up to 12. I might go up to 12 pounds. Maybe, you know. And I don't think that makes me rich. I think that makes me a man who, you know, I buy a bottle of wine rarely. So you know when I do? I splash out the extra three quid. And I don't, and you know what? I don't think I, I deserve the gallows for this. I don't. I don't think so. You know? And this man needs his sponsorship. Fuck off! Alright? You just in, you're in the wrong. Cheap wine is the way to do it. G good cheap wine, right? And the good the best price I've found for good quality is about 12 quid. We found the monopoly, man. <laughs> Fuck off! 12 pounds for wine makes me the monopoly. Hold on, give me a second. That's okay. You're gonna say hi from the corner. Ellen and Neil's come in. Sorry, I went I went to discuss wine. I hope you could hear me. Oh, you made me less purple. Oh, hi. No, okay. Hi, guys. I look gross right now because I haven't showered since You don't look gross. You look surgery. fine. You're pretty. I look gross. You don't. Uh, but I wanted to say hi, hi. I'll put the light back up. I, I know. Don't, don't you bed down. Oh. See? Anyway, but the point is, um, look, £12 for wine is reasonable. All right, I'm saying it. I'm saying, if you went and got, if you went to the pub and asked for a glass of wine in Brighton, you probably almost pay twelve pounds for the glass. All right. So I think when I get a whole bottle, I think you know what, I can probably afford to match the the the, the pub prices. All right. That's not expensive. 